Hi again, ladies and gentlemen, Eddie Marcus here. You know, every moment I'm constant, and when they are, I am, and so here I with you. You know, it is so important that we do the right thing if we know what the right thing is. It has its benefits, and if we don't, it has its detriments. I've spoken as an advocate in, for basic human rights of all people, as I, and I speak from not a uh, black man's point of view or white uh, America's point of view or gender's point of view or Christian's point of view. I speak as one who was created by God who has something that's directing my path. And so this is what I do. Now, when it comes down to basic human rights, this is to me that there's a power that we can't see that is responsible for all of us. And that power has prepared for us to live as though we were where that power resides. And if we're not doing it, there's a reason. Somebody ought to be know what that reason is in having that information shared with us. <clears throat> I want to say to you, ladies and gentlemen, when we don't do the right thing, there are consequences. I'm repeating that. Now, what? It, let's say America. America is not a perfect nation. It has never been a perfect nation. We've always known that. We've always said that. And for some strange reason, when we say it, we try to take away the negativity of it being a failed uh, system. We try to make it seem like we are so much better than that part that we failed, so we just put it over, push it over to the side and don't worry about it. And as a consequence, we keep right on being who we are a failed system, a cancer within a system. And a cancer anywhere has its, you know, its advantage, and it does its thing. And so this is what usually happens, and this is what has happened in America. What we see is a system that all of these years that America has existed, it has been a system, a failed system in operation, <clears throat> as if it's not. <clears throat> and when I say about a failed system, I mean that it hurts a lot of people. It benefits some people, maybe many people. And in democracy, they try to say want to benefit a lot of people. And any event, it also causes a lot of pain. It causes a lot of suffering. You can tell by the crime and violence. You can tell by the poverty. You can tell by the terror, the wars, all of these things. So, what we have, ladies and gentlemen, this is how that failed system operates. But if it operates for uh, uh, 50 years, 100 years, 200 years, can you see how much and understand how much is embedded within that society? So all during this time, you got people that's dissatisfied, deep, people that's frustrated, but people that have no voice. People who have no one to speak for them. People who have no one to stand up for them. And so all of a sudden you got some person looking at the situation. And he's not thinking about fixing the situation. He's not thinking about fixing the problem. What he's thinking about is how you can take advantage of that problem. How you can abuse that problem. And so this one, and I'm talking about Donald Trump. I'm speaking about what he has done. He has looked at that situation and decided to be the voice for all of those people that's been discontented with the system in this country. There are many people that are satisfied with it, but there are more people, really, if you know it, that's dissatisfied with the system. And he gives that a voice. Now, what is happening, he is speaking for that part of the system that says you stink. You are nothing. That's what he is doing. And so whatever you say, whatever good things you say, whatever good things you're trying to do, it doesn't make any difference to those who have been dissatisfied, discontented with the system. And everything that he says, it could be stupid. It doesn't have to make any kind of sense. But it's an affront to you. And this is what they love. Somebody with a voice to speak up and be an affront to you because they can't do it. They want to do it, but they can't do it. Now, they think that he is speaking for them. They don't know that he is using them. He is using them 
to destroy the nation. And in destroying the nation, he is putting himself on top of the nation by the power of the people that thinks he is going to benefit them. But it, that really doesn't matter because they've become haters of everybody else. And so the nation is basically destroyed and the devil sits on the throne. That is what Trump is counting on. Now, you cannot pretend that you are good enough to defeat evil when it has grown this thick. It won't work. Even if you win the office again, it'll seem like you are doing nothing. Like now, they say Biden is accomplishing a lot of things, but it doesn't mean anything as far as the media bragging, telling the country that Biden, the Democrats are doing this. No, they spend more time talking about what Trump going to do to you. <laughs> When you put him back in office, as if you are stupid and ignorant enough to put somebody back in office because he promises to kill some people that you're pissed off with. Well, that is the system of the world. And this is why I stand before you and talk about basic human rights for all people. You see, ladies and gentlemen, what is happening is that this is the opportunity for you to fix the system. See, all you know the our failures and all that time that they've existed. And this is how it has culminated in the mess that we find ourselves in today. The Department of Justice, the court system, everything, Republicans, Democrats, politics, everything is all screwed up. But you can fix it. But you got to change. And changing means that you got, to, if in America, if you got 340 million people, if one person is suffering and hurting, it is the responsibility and the duty of every other American to make sure that that person suffers no longer. Get rid of it. No pain, no suffering. That got to be your aim. If you're not doing that, you might as well allow Trump to go ahead on and take you under now. Because if he doesn't and you don't change, someone else will. So go on and get it over with. Think about it. Goodbye.